This is section 3.6, derivatives of trig functions. And in this video, we're just going to go through this example problem. It's actually not found in your book, but it's an equation that includes both cosine and sine functions. So before we go through this example, let's first go through what this section tells us. So it tells us the rules for taking the derivatives of trig functions, and it tells us that the derivative of cosine x is always minus sine x, and the derivative of sine x is always just cosine x. Okay, so let's apply these rules into this problem. So it gives us this function asking for the derivative. To find the derivative, we just take the derivative of each part, add it together. So this first part here, I have two cosine theta. Derivative of cosine is minus sine. So this is two times minus sine theta plus the derivative of phi, five sine theta just becomes five cosine theta. And let me clean up my signs a little bit, or <laughs> my negative signs. And this becomes minus two sine theta plus five cosine theta. And that's your final answer. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts covered in this video are true no matter what calculus class you're in, but all the sections and problems I referenced were from this textbook right here. And remember that if you're a registered Baylor student, we offer free tutoring on the first floor of Sidrich. You can either schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment online or just drop in whenever you're available during our business hours for free tutoring. For more information, feel free to visit our website.